So what do you do when your client is asking for your video deliverables in a ProRes codec and you are on a PC with no Premiere Pro or Media Encoder? While there are certain apps that can do ProRes conversions on PCs, unfortunately their convoluted interfaces discourages people to use them who by this time in the project just want to deliver the exports. The good news is that there is an amazing user-friendly free donationware app called Shutter Encoder built by Paul Pacifico. Shutter Encoder has an intuitive interface designed to be used by humans like us with loads of encoding power under the hood using FFmpeg as an encoding engine. In today's video we'll touch on how to convert your high quality exports to a ProRes format and also how to rotate your videos without re-encoding and quality loss. First, go ahead and download Shutter Encoder and help Paul maintain and further develop the app by donating. After installation, launch Shutter Encoder and bring up the settings panel by clicking on the button on the upper left corner. Here you can add a few defaults like end actions, language and several output location defaults. The only one that will set here is the GPU decoding from none to auto so that the app can take advantage of having less encoding strain on your CPU Plus, this works well with input codecs like DNxHR, which we'll be using. Once we have that out of the way, let's hop into Resolve's Deliver page and see how we can export high-quality DNxHR HQ master files that will convert to ProRes with Shutter Encoder. From the Render tab, select QuickTime Format, DNxHR for Codec and DNxHR HQ for Type. Make sure that your resolution is set to the original source resolutions, then expand the advanced settings. Here select the full data levels and tag your color space and gamma tags with Rec709 and Gamma 2.4. If you're using raw sources, it might be a good idea to check force sizing and debayer to highest quality. These settings guarantee that the clips will render at maximum available quality even if they were lowered while grading to improve performance on slower workstations. Select the location for your DNxHR files, then add to render queue and start the process. To convert your DNxHR HQ master files to ProRes, navigate to your DNxHR folder and drag the files into Shutter Encoder's input window. Next, from the Choose Function box, select Apple ProRes and 422HQ from the next box. Create an output folder and drag it over the same as source label to add the location destination for your output ProRes files. Click on Colorimetry and select Convert Levels. Here we'll have to convert the full data levels we've exported the DNxHR files to video levels for our ProRes files. Select 0 to 255 in the first box and 16 to 235 in the next. Click on Color Space and select Rec709 if it isn't already selected. Click on Start function and you're done. Your DNxHR HQ files will be converted to ProRes 422 HQ with the correct data level and color space. There are those times when you have clips that need to be oriented vertically or horizontally. Shutter Encoder has an option to add your own custom presets, which in this case are luckily already available for us from the download section of the Shutter Encoder's website by clicking on the Tools folder. Unzip the content of the compressed file and drag the presets in the My Function window available from the Start button. Select the one you need, change the extension to match the original file and start the function. These presets will orient your clip without having it re-encoded so there will be no quality loss. Shutter Encoder has tons of other functions you can explore for your own workflow like lossless clip trimming with certain codecs, file renaming and automatic cut detection to name a few. Give it a try and make sure to leave a donation for the developer to keep refining this app. Leave us a like if you found this video useful and please subscribe to get notified for more videos like this in the future. Till next time!